Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure your radio under Linux for use with digital modes and to control the unit uh, with your computer. My name is uh, Pablo, call sign Victor Alpha 3, Hotel Delta Lima. And if this is uh, your first time watching, please consider hitting the subscribe button. In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure the FT991 Alpha for digital modes, how to configure Linux to allow access to the serial ports, how to configure WSJTX FL Rig FLDG and to do a quick test of the configure uh, applications. All right, let's start with the um, options uh, to configure on the radio. The first one is the 031, the cut rate. I like to use the maximum speed for um, fast uh, um, settings transfer from the radio to the computer or the computer to the radio. So I set it up to 38400. Option 62, data mode should be set to others. Option uh, 68, data uh, high cut uh, frequency 3200. Option 071, data P PTT select RTS. It will give you the ability to do to PTT uh, with programs that uh, don't know how to PTT via cut. Option 072, data port select should be in USB. With the uh, FT991A, you can do data modes uh, using the um, data USB or you can use the um, uh, USB mode, SSB USB mode. Uh, in order to do that, you need to change the option 106 uh, from mic, which is uh, the microphone in the front, to rear. When you do that, the um, and, uh, and and you leave the radio in USB, uh, you can still use uh, the radio for data, uh, and the input of the audio it will be through the USB port in instead of the microphone on the front. The microphone on the front is going to be mute. So in case that you want to use, uh, again, the microphone for, for voice, you have to remember to come back to this option and change uh, back to, um, to microphone, to make. Option uh, 109, SSB port select to be USB. Another trick uh, when you're using a program that, uh, that doesn't allow you to PTT via CAT or PTT via serial port uh, is to use uh, VOX and enable uh, VOX. And uh, option 142 allows you to change from the microphone to the data. And in, in this case, it will work with the audio coming from uh, the computer. Finally, if you are planning to use the data box, uh, the, the gain option 146 should be set, set up ar around 90. And option 147, data box delay, uh, 250 milliseconds. Th th those, those are all the options that I use uh, in my uh, FT991 Alpha. All right, now to use our data mode, we need to click the um, mode button, switch to data USB. And uh, we have to make to make sure that we have the right settings on uh, RF power and uh, um, digital uh, gain. Uh, I suggest to start with, with a very low values in, in RF power and digital gain. Uh, then later you can set up the power, the RF power to, uh, I would say 50 watts. And with that, with that external um, RF uh, power meter, measure the output power, increasing the, the digital gain um, slowly, and uh, making sure that uh, in, in the ALC meter, switch to ALC, 
here in the mirror and make sure in the, in the ALC mirror is not no not having any bars. You shouldn't have any bars on the ALC. If you um, uh, you always should control the power with your, your digital gain and the volume, uh, the output volume in the computer, uh, and and never um, and never with the ALC or or by any other method. Uh, I have another video about uh, experiments on with ALC on the FT991 uh, Alpha, so I will leave the link below in the comments, so you can um, uh, you can you can find that video over there. Next is to make sure that we are using the entire bandwidth. So we go to the F settings, and we confirm that the width is 3,000, as you can see here. That is what it should be, 3,000. And with that, uh, the radio part is all set, and uh, now we should be able to switch and go back into our Linux machine and uh, start configuring uh, the, the computer side of this and uh, do a test. All right, we finished with the radio, and now we are going back to the computer. At this point, we open the, the shell command line or okay. the terminal. And uh, in this step, this is the first step that we need to do is to add the user to the dial-up group to allow access to the serial port. How we do that? With the command sudo gpasswd add user and the group dial out. So I'm gonna hit enter. So I received the confirmation that the user, my user was added to the group I allowed. I can also check uh, pulling uh, the groups for the user with this command groups. And I can see uh, the user, my user is part of the dial out group. That is going to give me access to the serial ports. All right, I have uh, the um, WSJTX uh, open. On my machine, I'm uh, going, going to go to File, Settings, and in general, I have my call sign and my grid. On uh, radio, I will look for uh, FT, FT991. It's here. There is no alpha. It's just FT991. I'm going to select that radio. Serial port. I'm going to select uh, the um, port USB 0 and I'm going to test the CAD. As you can see, the, um, the, the button the test CAD become green. That means the CAD is working at this point. And um, let me bring the, um, the radio on, uh, on the screen so we can see also if uh, PDD works. All right, we have the radio now on the screen and uh, we can uh, switch the PTT method to cut and test cut again. We're gonna do that one more time. Now we have enabled the button that say test PTT. When I press this button, you see the radio is going into transmit no mode if I press the button again, it stops transmitting. So that means everything is working uh, perfectly at this point. We're going to configure the audio part. The audio part, you need to set up what is the input from um, uh, the radio and what is the output to the radio. So in this, in, in this case, for, for the FT991 Alpha, the... Um, the name of the input is uh, ALSA input USB Burr Brown from TI USB audio codec 00 analog stereo. For output is ALSA output USB Burr Brown from TI USB audio codec 00 analog stereo. So once we have done that, we click Okay, and you see now we are getting the, the frequency and it's switching the radio to the proper frequency. As you can see here, the radio is switched in, in the screen. You can, you can see the radio automatically switched to 14074. And uh, you can see now in the waterfall that we are getting uh, audio signals.
which is pretty good. So let me move the waterfall uh, a little bit more to this side and, and expand. As you can see, everything is working fine. It's decoding. Uh, we're going to try to see uh, the entire passband. So Bins Pixel, we go one up and we see from zero to 4,000 the entire band pass, uh, audio band pass for, for the radio, you can see here. All right, let's see if we can make a contact. You see, I have a lot of ALC. I am, I am decreasing, decreasing the gain, decreasing. Because I have a lot of uh, ALC in there. There is no ALC in there. That's good. I still am putting around 40 watts. With, with no ALC and gain in six. I somebody reply, Whiskey 7 Oscar Kilo. See how it's going. And we have a confirmed QSO. That's pretty good. All right. Now um, we finish uh, setting up uh, WSJTX. Let's take a look at uh, setting up. Um, FL rig to control the radio and then after that we are going to try FLDG so we launch FL uh, rig this is probably one of the few options that you have under Linux to control uh, your radio via CAT we go to config setup transceiver in rig we have the option for the 991 alpha so we choose that one uh, speed is out automatically fill up for for us and the port we know uh, we used before in WSJTX uh, the port USB 0 so we're going to look for the same one because we know that one works that one here and we we say we're going to PTT via cut and we are going to initialize and see if everything works Everything seems to be working. You see, it's, uh, it's reading uh, the same values that we have on the radio, on the recording from the radio in there. Even this meter is working live. Uh, let's, let's try to PTT. Let's see if the PTT works. Yeah, radio is in transmission mode. So everything seems to be working fine. This is uh, um, a way that um, you can control your radio under Linux. So you have all those options and that you can uh, use and you can program. And um, next and the last is to uh, configure uh, FLDG. All right, for the final part of this video, I'm gonna show um, how to set up uh, FLDG. As you can see here, I have it already working. Um, in in BPSK31, that's the mode that I was testing. It's, it's, it seems to be working fine. So how is set up? We go configure. I'm gonna show you first how to set up the the rig control. For the rig control, I use a rig cat. Rig cat. This is what I use. For to use rig cat, and I use the same thing in Windows. It's the same settings I'm using in Windows. Is the is I found FLDG works best with RigCut. So um, you need a configuration file, an XML file that you need to download and, um, and select from, from here. Let me show you where you can download that file. You can download that file for SourceForge. I can provide, I'm going to put the address, um, the URL on the comment so you can get it from there. And this is the file that you, that you need, the ft991a.xml. So you download that file and then from FLDG, you open that file from wherever you save that file. And, and, and this is what you use for ReCAD. The only thing that I changed, I changed two options in here. First, the, the port, remember we always use USB 0. For the for cat, and uh, everything is working fine. How I know it's working fine? I can see. I can see if I change the frequency here, you would see it immediately on the radio. The frequency is updating as I am changing in here, and also if I tune, 
If I tune, you will see the radio goes into TX mode. No ALC. I was uh, I already set the the, the um, digital gain to six, and I'm putting close to 45 watts, and the RF power on the radio is set to 50 watts. So even with no ALC, I am almost getting the 50 watts. So this is the way it should be. I'm gonna stop the tuning, and I'm gonna show you now how to set up the audio part. So for the audio part, we go to configure sound card and you choose the first option, port audio, the first available option, port audio. For capture, you're going to pick USB audio codec, USB audio codec. For playback, you, you should choose USB audio codec, the same, the same value that you have here, hardware 3.0 or comma zero, but I don't have it on my list. So I choose default and it works for me. So see what option you, you have. You should have this one. If you don't have a USB audio, just choose default and see if that works uh, for you too, like it works for me. And that's all folks. Um, it seems to be working fine. You can see the coding uh, perfectly, no, no issues. Right folks, uh, there you have it. Yeah, all working fine so if you enjoy the video if you like the video please smash the like button remember to subscribe and click on the bell to receive notifications when i upload uh, new videos and if you have any questions or comments please leave them uh, on the comment section below uh, also uh, remember that for more articles and information please make sure you check my website www.va3hdl.com Thanks uh, for watching.